Hello friends and welcome to another lecture on chemical engineering thermodynamics. Today we will take up an interesting problem. The problem has come in Mumbai University chemical engineering thermodynamics one paper that is CET one paper and it was asked in May 18 and the question was 3A. It's of 10 marks. Now it says derive the relations to estimate residual enthalpy and residual entropy for a fluid using Van der Waals equation of state. Now I would always advise the students to commit to memory these two formulas for calculating the residual enthalpy and the residual entropy of a fluid. Now this is keeping in mind that this formula can be easily used for any cubic equation of state and while you use it for a cubic equation of state it simply you know boils down to a very very small formula so let's look into it so first we have the van der waals equation of state so let's write down that first so p is equal to r t upon v minus b minus a by v square now as you can see that in the formula for residual enthalpy we require r t z minus 1 plus integral v infinity to v and what we require from the van der waals equation is dou p by dou t minus p dv the integral is something what needs to be solved so let's write this as 2 and let's only solve it solve 2 so solving it we get First of all, let's calculate dou p by dou t at constant volume v. Now, this would be required in both in residual entropy as well as residual enthalpy. So, dou t by dou v, dou t at constant volume v for a Van der Waals gas is going to be nothing but R v minus b. Therefore, the integral is going to be v infinity to v rt upon v minus b minus rt upon v minus b that is p you replace as rt v minus b plus a by v square dv now this is equal to integral v infinity to v we have a by v square dv now if we integrate this we are going to get it as a over v minus 1 so this is going to be v and this is going to be v infinity right so this further can be written as minus a 1 by v minus 1 by infinity that's going to be equal to 0 so we are going to have minus a upon v now this can be rewritten as minus a V can be written as Z R T by P A P by R T the whole square into R T into 1 over Z or this is nothing but R T A over Z where a is defined as a p by r t square so the formula for 
residual enthalpy for an van der Waals gas is finally RT Z minus 1 minus RT A by Z. Well, we missed the minus sign here. So let's put it. Yes. So this is the formula for residual enthalpy. Now let's check this. So for ideal gas, Z is equal to 1 and A is equal to 0. Therefore, we get delta H R for an ideal gas as RT 1 minus 1 minus RT into 0 over 1 which is nothing but all this is equal to 0 and for an ideal gas we get the expression that delta HR is 0 which is a fact that is the residual enthalpy for an ideal gas is always 0. Now let us calculate what is going to be the residual entropy. The formula for residual entropy is delta s r is equal to now what is this yeah that's gone right delta s r is equal to r ln of z plus integral v infinity to v dou p by dou t at constant volume v minus r by v dv. Now we already have this dou p by dou t at v. So the residual entropy can be written as r ln of z plus integral of substituting r v minus b minus r by v dv from infinity to volume v that's it so delta sr is equal to r ln of z plus r ln of v minus b over v from infinity to v. This can be written as r ln of z plus r ln of v minus b over v. Okay. So for the lower limit, I know most of you must be wondering that how did I take it as zero? Well, we apply a simple mathematical logic here. So I'll demonstrate that. For the lower limit, we take it as ln. We remove v common and write it as one minus b over v. Now this is at infinity. So one by infinity. Now the volume here is infinity. Remember now one by infinity is going to be zero and B by V is going to be zero. And therefore this is LN one and this is zero, right? So we get the expression as this, what is shown, right? So we get this expression. That's it. And we can now put V is equal to Z R T by P and B is equal to B P by R T. Right? So what we have is B is equal to B P by R T. 
and finally we get the expression as this. We can rewrite this as So this is the expression for residual entropy for a Van der Waals gas. Let's check for an ideal gas. So for an ideal gas, we know that B is equal to 0 and Z is equal to 1. And if we put these values, B is equal to 0 and Z is, is equal to 1, in the above equation, we get SR is equal to 0, which is a fact for an ideal gas. Okay, so that was all guys about calculating or getting an expression for the residual enthalpy and the residual entropy of a Van der Waals gas. Do subscribe my channel. This is very important to me. So far, I have only 588 subscribers. I need to touch 1000 subscribers in order to make this project viable. Otherwise, this project is totally unviable. So I expect support from all my viewers. Please subscribe my channel. And if possible, please share the playlist. Please share my playlist, share my videos. And to whomsoever you share, request them to subscribe it. That is the best thing you can do for me. Fine, guys. Goodbye. Have a great day. Take care.